Collections are a fantastic way to organize your data. However, uh, in many situations, you don't want a collection. You want to aggregate your results into a single data set. For example, at the end of your analysis, you don't want a collection. You want a single final result. So in this particular case, I have a collection with three data sets, and these are some tabbed limited files in this example. Of course, you can have collection with 3,000 or 30,000 data sets. We have here three only because it's an example. Uh, so what I want is I want to combine all these data sets into a single file. However, if I do that, I want to still preserve the information that, for example, these coordinates or these uh, lines correspond to sample 1, and these correspond to sample 2, and those correspond to sample 3. I can achieve that with collection operation called collapse. Let's see how this works. So this is, again, this is my collection, so I'm going to choose it here. That's the collection I would like to collapse. I don't really want to have to keep any header lines because my data sets, as you can see, don't have any header lines. But I would like to prepend file name and in such a way that every line in my file I, uh, I would know that this uh, line corresponds to sample 1, or corresponds to sample 2, or corresponds to sample 3. So what I will choose here, I will choose same line and each line in data set. So again, this is my collection. I don't want to keep the header line, and I do want to prepend file name. So let's execute it and see what happens. Well, let's look at it. You can see that it's a simple concatenation of the files, but this tool adds a separate column, and that column tells us what original data set this information corresponds to. So this is an example of how you collapse a collection.